everyone, thanks for watching. As many of you who know me will know, my bearded dragon Falkor has been sickly lately. He's been battling some infections. We don't really know what the cause of that is, but right now he is dehydrated, so his vet has ordered rehydration therapy. So I thought I'd make a little video to give some of the ways in which I have been trying to up his hydration levels in hopes that maybe it will be helpful to others. Um, so here we go. Just to begin, this is one of Falcor's favorite foods. He doesn't eat anything every day. He doesn't eat these every day, but he eats these quite often. I call them Cheetos because the primary, it's uh, dehydrated food pellets that look like Cheetos. As you can see from the ingredients, moisture not more than 8.5%. So that is really low, and that is possibly one of the reasons why Falcor has been getting dehydrated because he eats too many of these guys. So we are replacing these guys with these guys. I just spent a ridiculous amount of time crafting him a salad. This is made with bok choy, celery, red peppers, zucchini, and cucumber, which are all vegetables with a moisture contact of 95% and above. And then separately, because these guys are juicier, I've got some strawberries and blueberries. Notice there's significantly less strawberries and blueberries than the good veggies, but all of these things are very good for him. And so I'll be mixing up little salads for him every day, wherein he eats more like three parts of this, one part that. So to prepare these salads for him, I'm going to be kind of moving it into a smaller container just for convenience. And when I give it to him, I'm also going to be adding water. Um, that will help it keep last longer in his cage where it is hot. Also, we live in New Mexico where it is dry. So by adding water to his vegetables, I'm hoping that that will help him maintain a little bit of extra moisture. The other way in which we're hydrating Falcor beyond just his food is by giving him water orally with a syringe, as was recommended by his vet. He is supposed to get nine milliliters of water every day. This syringe represents one milliliter. I am lucky if I can get a half milliliter into him at any one time. I do this several times a day, but I'm hoping the additional wet foods will help him get his nine milliliters a day. Next up in my bag of trips, hornworms. Falky loves hornworms. I think most bearded dragons do. You can buy them at the pet store. You can buy them online. They're awesome. They can be kind of more expensive than the cr typical crickets and worms, but as you can see, moisture 85%, so that is much better than other feeder insects that are available. Falcor does need to eat a mix of protein from bugs as well as his fruits and vegetables, so these guys hopefully will help us be part of the solution. This is Falcor's enclosure where he spends the majority of his time Granted, it's a little busted up right now. His hammock is broken, but... So we've got a long glass enclosure. So over here, we call this the cool end where his water bowl is. No, he does not drink out of a water bowl. Very, I've only seen him do it once in the three years that I've had him. But it's there in case he wants it, and it always has some water in it. This temperature on this side of the tank... If you wanted to listen to the temperature gauge, it would tell you that it's about 80 degrees. It's probably a little bit less than that. The house temperature in the house ranges from, in the summer, 68 to 72, so that's probably more like what the temperature is in there. Over here on this side, I do think this thermometer is a little bit more accurate. The bottom of the hot side is 75 to 80 degrees. That's pretty accurate. Up here at the top, there isn't a thermometer in there. I use a laser thermometer and it is going to be the hottest part available. This is where Falcor spends most of his time, as close to the light and the heat as his little body can get. His alternative is he will go underneath in the bottom of his cave where it's around 70 degrees and that's pretty much as cool as he likes to be. The exception would be of course when he is free ranging as he is right now. So I'll find him and we can get a look at him. So here he is right now, Falky hiding in a corner, which is kind of his M.O. Temperature right there is 70 degrees, so generally he runs around my room like a crazy fool for a while. 
and then he usually comes over here or goes under a bookshelf to a quiet place to chill. He's not actually sleeping, but the good news is when he's a little bit cooler, it is a little bit easier to syringe feed him his water. So I apologize for the terrible camera angle here. I don't have a tripod right now in here and I don't feel like getting one, so this is gonna be awkward, but we'll see if we can let you see him getting his water. Generally, this is a tricky procedure because um, he has teeth, he will bite me, um, but generally, if I come over here with this and try with one hand to pry open his lips a little bit, usually if I just squirrel in, he'll start to submit and open his mouth for me. So let's see if we can get him to cooperate with that. Open. There you go, there you go. And then we just kind of squirt that in, not too fast. We don't want to choke him. But as you can see, he's not real receptive to this, hence why I'm looking for more food options. Uh, he doesn't like this, I don't like this, nobody likes this, so we need to get him dehydrated. So I will keep doing this several times a day for doctor's order to get as much water in him as we can so they don't drink water on their own. And the rest he's gonna have to help me out with by eating some water-filled foods. So here he is back in his cage. I've given him a salad, which as you can see, he is kind of ignoring. He has already eaten some today. You can see there are still some of those Cheetos in there. I haven't actually gone in and taken them all out, but he primarily eats what's in his bowl <laughs> or from my hand, not what's around. So it's not gonna hurt him to eat some Cheetos. Uh, I will clean those out though. But here's how I kind of help Falcor to eat the veggies in his bowl. Just give me one minute, we'll get a worm. So this is one of the horned worms we talked, <laughs> we looked at earlier. I'll go ahead and just put that right in the top of his lettuce salad there. And generally he will, once he notices it start moving around, probably go and eat it. As you can see, oh, I'm sorry I missed that. He's eating his worm. Worm is good and juicy. Now sometimes just having that worm on top of his salad is enough for him to eat it. Um, because he did eat earlier, he might not feel like eating any more salad right now. Um, so I'm not gonna like try to shove that down his throat or anything, but that's just one of the ways we're helping Falcor to get hydrated so he can get to be feeling better. Um, the other thing that we are not going to look at is bathing. He has been soaking every day in a bathtub they can absorb some liquid through their bodies uh, when they're soaking in it. So that's another way we're helping him out. So I hope this has been a helpful interview on how to help combat dehydration in a bearded dragon. Um, I'd like to hear whatever your tips or ideas are, if you have any, um, or, you know, just enjoy him being cute and uh, you're not expected to give anything in return. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.